What is going on everyone? I hope everybody is doing well. We're gonna flavor up your weekday meals with this video. I've got some incredible ideas for you which are just perfect for these colder days. Generally speaking, I know a lot of us are very busy during the week, we're on the go. Sometimes we don't feel like we have time. If you choose to prepare a meal, then why not make it something that you actually enjoy? It can really just mean adding a few kind of like store cupboard ingredients together and creating something that you, you know, that you feel good about. More of my recipes can be found in my my ebooks over on my website. Let me know which recipe catches your eye, which one you'll be trying out first in the comments. And also I'd love if you tag me over on my Instagram. I would love to see what you create. Today's recipes are layered, flavor packed, filled with joy as always. Let's jump into this video. We're keeping it simple, but we're keeping it flavorful. Let's jump into the first recipe idea. Let's go. So for the first recipe, I have teamed up with Tfow and I have been challenged to cook a meal in 10 minutes using their incredible cook for me touch which is a high pressure multi cooker one of the best things that i've come across in a very long time there are over 150 ideas that take just 10 minutes so i had a lot of choice with little prep time and a beautiful end dish i've chosen to make a warming ever so fitting for the welcoming of autumn vegetable bean chili one of the most exciting features of the cook for me touch is that it comes with 250 built-in recipes that is a lot of recipes um the recipes can be navigated using the waterproof very practical tiltable color touch screen another really cool feature which i love is the step-by-step -step feature with cooking videos video walkthroughs and images for ease and the best cooking results so you can literally have a step-by-step -step guide as you're cooking. Over on the Tfow app there are over 300 recipes for stress-free meal planning. As I mentioned I am going to be cooking a bean and vegetable chili in the Tfow cook for me touch. This recipe is simplicity at its finest. We're going to take some really simple kind of store cupboard usually found in the fridge type of ingredients and we're going to make something so incredibly delicious. So for this hearty warming chili, we are going to be needing some beans. The recipe calls for pinto beans, but you could definitely use kidney beans or black beans. We're going to need some peppers. So I used a variety of red and green. And then we're going to bring in some grounding, perfect for this weather root vegetables. So I'm going to be using some carrots, some celery, some onions and some garlic. So the smoky spiciness, which is just so good in this chili, comes from chipotle paste. We are going to need some tin tomatoes. So make your choice. You can use plum tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. I had some cherry tin tomatoes, so that's what I'm using. So I chose to add some extra few additions to this recipe. We're going to be using some fresh coriander and we're also going to be adding in some chili flakes, some dried herbs. I'm using oregano and thyme and some cumin seeds. So yeah, this is all of our ingredients. And now I am going to show you how you can prepare this bean and vegetable chili using the Tfow Cook For Me Touch in less than 10 minutes. So we're gonna begin by dicing up our onions and finely chopping up our garlic. We are going to dice our carrots, our celery and our peppers. So as I mentioned, the color touch screen will give you step-by-step -step guidance. So go ahead and throw a little bit of oil in the pot and then throw in your onions and garlic, just sweating them down for a minute or so. Um, season with some sea salt, just giving everything a good mix. And then throw in your cumin seeds, your chili flakes, and then throw in your dried oregano and your dried thyme followed on by the chipotle paste, just stirring everything continuously. So throw in all of these chopped vegetables. Honestly, at this point, everything will just be smelling so good. That chipotle paste, oh yes. Completely optional. You can choose to throw in a little touch of sweetener of choice. I threw in a tiny little bit of maple syrup. Throw in your tin tomatoes. If you're using plum or cherry tomatoes, you can go ahead and just kind of give them a little crush. Followed on by your beans of choice. I added in my pinto beans and then I threw over a little bit of vegetable stock. It was then time to let the Tfow cook for me touch work its magic. I simply locked it. So the cook time for this recipe is eight minutes so so simple the color tap screen will let you know when everything is cooking it will also let you know once everything is completed so simple yet so effective everything was tasting 
absolutely delicious. I threw in some fresh coriander. You can serve it with whatever you like. I served mine with a bit of rice and I threw on a little bit of coconut yogurt as well because I just love chili and yogurt. I just think, mm work so well together if you are a busy person on the go juggling careers and um, you kind of never feel like there's enough time in the day to find that balance of work and then preparing like a really beautiful meal from scratch then the cook for me touch will be a massive massive game changer when preparing your meals the next recipe is a butternut squash pasta bake. For me personally, this defines a comforting, warming, cozy, perfect for autumn meal. It is something else. This recipe is a little bit more ingredient heavy than the first recipe that I showed you, but I'm gonna walk you through the simple steps and you're gonna see how easy it is. So we're gonna need a butternut squash. Of course, you can use whatever variety of squash that you have available. Just make sure it's a variety which has depth and flavor. So I love adding a small amount of Brazil nuts. This just adds to the creaminess. I think it's a really beautiful addition to this recipe. So the main source of creaminess will come from the full fat coconut milk. We're gonna pack this pasta bake so it's full, it's flavorful, it's filling. I'm using some mushrooms. Of course, you can use whatever vegetables you have on hand. So courgettes would work really well. You can throw loads of different greens in there if you want. You could add red peppers. And I'm also gonna be adding in some sun-dried tomatoes as I I mentioned a few videos ago I just have a thing for them at the moment and yeah I just love adding them to absolutely everything when possible and you could definitely try and add something like tuna I've never personally tried it with this recipe but I know I know tasting the flavors it would work really well so we're gonna need a little touch of paprika you could use smoked paprika if that's what you prefer Dried herbs are a definitive ingredient for a recipe like this. We're gonna use some thyme and we're gonna use some oregano. For the base of this recipe, we're gonna use some garlic, of course. And then I chose to use some shallots just because they have a slight sweeter tint to them. But of course, if you're only working with white onions, they will work perfectly too. The latest autumn slash fall edition are leeks. We're gonna be seeing them all season. And yes, I love using them in a variety of recipes. We're also gonna be adding in some scotch bonnet this is going to give it some heat as i always say work with what type of level of heat that you enjoy um, remove the seeds if necessary use a little bit if necessary we're going to use some fresh sage believe me this is a game changer we're going to need some pasta use whatever pasta works for you i'm using some panko breadcrumbs i just love to top the pasta bake with it and then when it goes in the oven and it crisps up mm, so so delicious so we're gonna begin by peeling our butternut squash. I like to do it this way round. I just peel it and then I simply chop it down the middle and then into kind of like chunky wedges like this. Season with a little bit of sea salt, drizzle over a little bit of olive oil, and then you can add some black pepper as I did. Place your butternut squash into a preheated oven of around 200 degrees and you're gonna leave it in there for around 40 minutes until it's cooked, until it's golden, until it's soft all the way through. Whilst the squash is roasting away in the oven, we're gonna continue. So chop up your ingredients, finely chop up your leeks, followed on by the shallots, finely chop up that garlic, and then slice those mushrooms. You can use any type of mushroom, by the way, I didn't mention, but of course, any type of mushroom would work in this recipe. So heat a pan on like a medium heat, um, drizzle in a little bit of oil of choice, place in your garlic and your shallots, just continuously mixing everything, just sweating them, place in some sea salt, followed on by your chopped up leeks, continue mixing, we're gonna be doing a lot of mixing, and then throw in your dried herbs, so your thyme and your oregano, place in some black pepper, lots of black pepper, and then throw in your mushrooms. Now I like to splash mine with a little bit of tamari. Mushrooms and tamari for me, they are the perfect union, they go hand in hand. I can't have mushrooms without tamari personally. So yeah, I splashed in some tamari and then just cooked everything down. So for mushrooms, you want like a medium to high heat and you wanna keep things moving, keep things moving in that pan. Flavor your mushrooms up to suit your taste. As I always say, season your food at every stage, if you want to, of course. So remove your golden caramelized 
absolutely gorgeous looking squash from the oven it's going to be tempting to eat it we're going to put this together hold on place your cooked butternut squash into a high speed blender followed on by the brazil nuts now just to mention that i prefer to soak my brazil nuts you know how i feel about soaking everything so yeah i placed in my brazil nuts then some paprika gave it some sea salt some onion powder some black pepper the amount of scotch bonnet that i wanted to use and i actually added in some extra garlic pour in your full fat coconut milk and then simply just whiz everything until it is smooth you may need to thin it out a little bit so in that case you can add a little bit of water that will work just fine so place your butternut squash sauce into the pan of mushrooms and leeks and shallots and garlic and then just gently gently on a low heat just mix everything well mix in the chopped sun-dried tomatoes and some fresh sage again you can add a little touch of water Water if things just thicken up too quickly. So cook up your pasta of choice. I prefer to cook mine till it's al dente. Don't want it overly soft. So go ahead and add that creamy heavenly sauce, mix it with the pasta, combine everything, gently mix it well. Of course you can serve it like this if you want to, if you don't want to do the next step. I just think putting it in the oven, putting the breadcrumbs over just gives it that extra, just that extra something else. Grab a tray, place on your pasta. How good does this look? Oh my goodness. So, so, so good. Grab your breadcrumbs. Like I said, I'm using panko breadcrumbs. I just love how they crisp up. And um, go ahead and place on top all of your breadcrumbs. Scatter them well all over everything. My extra self went and added on some more sun-dried tomatoes. I added on a little bit more oregano, drizzled over some olive oil. This for me was oven ready. This is gonna cook in a 190 degree oven for around 15 to 20 minutes. You're gonna see it's gonna crisp up really, really quickly. I scattered over some fresh parsley and yes, this pasta bake is a dream. I served it up and let me tell you, every single bite was devoured. This is a perfect, warming, comforting, autumn fall recipe that I know, I know you guys are gonna try out and I know you're gonna love it. So two very different recipes for you to try out. I love seeing your remixed versions of my recipes. Tag me over on my Instagram. Give them a go. Let me know how it goes. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. See you all soon. Bye.